Hey everybody, Rick Needham from beautiful Gulfstream Park in Hallidale, Florida. It's Thursday afternoon, February the 21st, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle YouTube race of the day. I'm going to focus on race four this afternoon, folks. 2:30, 2:25 p.m. Eastern Post. Six for a long sprint on the dirt. Four year olds and up racing for an optional claiming purse of $52,000. Contenders number seven, ROI Modit. Number three, Saint Damien. Number one, Disco Sun, and number four, Bry Bone. Number seven, ROI Maudit, is the pace profile leader in this optional climbing field, sprinting at today's distance of six furlongs in the dirt. Recent past performance sheets show back-to-back -back power run wins in his second through his fourth races back. Number three, St. Damien, a six-to-one shot, is the only entry in this field showing a power run in this field's collective last start. Race four summary, number seven, ROI Maudit, tops my contenders list, which also includes number three, St. Damien, number one, Disco Sun, and number five, Brie Bone, 7314, and the fourth from Gulfstream Park. I have bonus long shots from three tracks for you today, folks. Let's put it Charlestown first. Race two, number one, Holy Intention, six to one in the morning line. Had speed figure sprinting at the specialized distance to seven furlongs on the dirt, which were equivalent to the favorite, number seven, Randy Summer. Race at Delta Downs today as well. Race three, the five to one shot. Number eight, Sweep and Evil. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Takes a class drop. Is nice speed for the seven furlong sprint. Race at Oldsmar, Florida, Tampa Bay Downs today as well. Race two, number one, Sweet Paprika. Four to one in the morning line. Qualifies as a Power Pony. Has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last four starts. So from Gulfstream Park on a Thursday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle YouTube and dayatthetrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.